Fears around, fear's around me all the time, but awareness of fear and when I'm experiencing fear is kind of when it is, is able to be overcome. And so I still experience fear, but if I'm able to name it and then adjust to it, then I'm, I'm able to use fear in a very healthy way to uh, adapt and shift and move. I don't ignore fear. Uh, I also don't let fear paralyze me uh, or to be overcome by outside fears. And, and that's really... A, a, a mental toughness, it's a mental discipline to not be reactionary to fear, but to let it sit for a moment, realize this, there, there could be some painful outcomes here, the outcomes that I didn't choose. However, be able to be emotionally intelligent, to understand fear, to be self-aware, and then kind of adapt and adjust into this new reality. So experience disruption, experience fear, experience what we would maybe call failure but then to be able to adapt and not be labeled or disabled by fear or failure. So it still exists. It's not that it's not, it doesn't exist anymore. I'm, I experience it, but now I'm aware of it and can move and overcome it and use it even positively. It's the, it's the tolerance for bad ideas, tolerance for failure, tolerance for potential outside critique coming in. And so that's, that's, it's kind of building up a, a vaccination against other people's critiques. You're able to create, create, create without fear of being judged, either judging it yourself. You know, we draw a bunny uh, that doesn't look like a real bunny is supposed to look. I'm not an artist. Um, so it's, it's kind of creating without judgment, releasing the outcome and, you know, painting a bunny maybe 20, 40, 100 times before we would maybe assess or critique. You know what? I, I want to make the paws more photorealistic. I want to try and round the ears back or make them longer. So we, do, we don't know those things. It's not natural to us. We haven't studied bunnies and how to draw bunnies, but that's part of the process in anything, whether we're uh, using social media whether we are leading a team of people, whether we are trying to build good branding or marketing, we need to try some things, not just revert back to what was in the textbook from last year's success, because last year's successes are irrelevant for future outcomes. And so we have to ad adjust or adapt to new realities, which is where tolerance of fear, potential failure, risk, all come into play where we, we need to find new ways without labeling ourselves uh, on old paradigms.